I shall proceed to tell what happened in the meanwhile to Loretta with the beautiful shadow on a candlelit screen. Little did I know that she had given up her public for a private life. She had married for richer than poorer, and for better than worse, till death do them part, the substantial Monsieur Richer. I've been thinking. Don't you know about what? I know about that garter. Again. The case of the garter. After all, my sweet, you're married to a detective. I'm married to a jealous fool. Oh, I protest, my love. I'm interested in the garter. <laughs> that is, in the man who stole it from a purely professional point of view. But that tiny garter may be the means of recovering everything I've lost. My post as chief of police. My entire career. For if I apprehend that thief, His Excellency will certainly admit that I was right all along. And believe me, he will bow to my theory. Theory? At this time of night? If my theory is right, he is precisely the same man who's committed a whole chain of felonies. And yet, all the other victims describe him as young, dashing, Casanova-like, the, the type that women lose their heads over. Aren't you listening, my angel? Could it be that your description of him was not quite uh, precise? As you may recall, you said that he was old, bald, unattractive, huh? Precisely. Well, then. Old or young, bald or not, I still don't understand how a man could steal a woman's garter without... Uh, I, I mean, without... Uh... All right, have it your way. It wasn't without, it was with. Uh, with what? With love and kisses. Yours truly, Loretta. Aha! Did you see? Now then, 